Hey everybody, it's Joe with JBlake Photo, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the changes to Adobe Rush CC. Uh, they sent out some updates today to version 1.2 that includes uh, some speed controls. So we can do speed ramping and some other super fun stuff, so we're gonna jump in and take a look. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into uh, Rush CC, and I've got a couple of clips added here. I will, you know, kind of before we get started, I do wanna mention uh, that Adobe Rush does not currently support importing through iCloud, uh, which also includes the Files app. Um, so even in iOS 12, the Files app was available um, for some, you know, uh, cloud-based storage, you could import that way. It doesn't doesn't seem to be supported here. Um, it looks like the only thing, if you tap media, that you can import from is your camera roll, uh, Creative Cloud, and Dropbox. So no Google Drive, no OneDrive, uh, no support for the iCloud Drive, which iCloud Drive, the Files app, would give you access to all those other uh, cloud-based storage platforms, and I'm sure that API would work just fine. I don't know. It also means that in iOS 13, which I'm currently running on the beta, I don't have access to um, external storage that I would normally be able to import from, which I can import from in LumaFusion. So just a, just a little bit there, something that I'm not able to do uh, in this app. So I did import some files through the Photos app and I'm, I was able to get those down. This is actually a clip from a recent trip that I took out to California. And as you can see here, I am uh, snorkeling and I am covered in seaweed. Um, so over here on the right hand side, you'll see there's a new little button. It kind of looks like a dial. So we're gonna go ahead and tap that. And then it goes back to normal speed. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, the handle controls are nice. I like the fact that it's using handles instead of um, kind of the Bezier curves that you have to use in Premiere. Those can be kind of fiddly. Um, I prefer using handles like you do in Final Cut. So this is actually much better. Okay, let's play with uh, f going faster though. So I'm actually gonna switch projects. I'm gonna go back to the home screen and I'm going to click over to some drone footage that I got at a, um, beach in California. This was shot, uh, or actually edited for um, a portrait. I'm gonna switch this to landscape. That way we get the whole, the whole video here, okay? And it looks like this is normal speed. It's a decent length clip. I'm gonna kind of scroll out here, or zoom out rather. And I'm gonna select our speed control, and I'm gonna say, I want that to go to 400% speed and I want that to ramp, and I want it to ramp in about one second. Okay, and we'll go here. And then it slows down. Okay, so now let's actually bring that up even further. Let's bring that to 800%-ish. And again, we've got that ramped, and I'm gonna bring that ramp up to two seconds, and then we'll take a look. It looked like it didn't look like it ramped much, did it? Hmm. Doesn't seem to really be ramping. Maybe I'm misunderstanding how this works. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this out manually then. Okay, so this is making a little bit more sense. Okay, so now we'll kind of play through there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being thick. You guys can explain it to me in the comments. Please tell me how this is supposed to work. It seemed to work pretty well on the slow-mo, and when you just set it for the whole thing, it, it runs pretty well. Okay, saw it a little bit better there. Okay, so this definitely needs some tweaking, uh, or I just need to spend some more time with it. So I wanted to just kind of walk through that, kind of show you. It's nice that they've added this feature. Um, this is really the two, one of the two features uh, that I thought was missing from uh, Adobe Rush when it was initially released. So this is good. The next thing they need to do is they need to put the warp stabilizer on here. If they do that, then this is a fully fledged editor, I think. Um, you know, the next would be plug-in support, which I doubt they're gonna add. Um, but now, you know, it does have uh, transitions, it's got text, it has very good 
um, color correction, uh, and now it has uh, speed control and speed ramping. So as always, your mileage may vary, but I'm curious to see how this is going for all of you. Um, so throw something in the comments about how this is working for you or how you have seen uh, you know, this work for you. I find it just a little bit fiddly. Like I said, I really like using Final Cut. I find the editor in there to be really easy. I am glad that it's not using Bezier curves. So let me know how it's going for you. I'd be really curious. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit subscribe uh, if you want to see more videos like this. And then I'll see you in the next video.